are at the house today. We haven't done an update in a really long time because there's been Tyvek paper in most of our openings. Yeah. I know, Gardner. And uh, so every time we're over here and the wind is blowing, it's like, wow, wow, wow. It's a really good wind noise. It's Thank super you. loud. Well, it's super duper it's, loud. It's really loud and we it's haven't. Like, <laughs> when you listen to the audio, it's terrible. Yeah, so we filmed a couple times and I thought about voiceover. Anyway, long story short, sorry it's taken so long and here's an update. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start from the front door. Um, it is still Tyvek papered in. We ended up deciding to get a custom front door made and actually one of my grooms from when I was photographing weddings uh, is going to be making the door, is making the door. Uh, and we're hopefully gonna have that in a few weeks. It's gonna be walnut and I kind of gave him creative control. So I don't really know what it's gonna look like, but I'm excited. Uh, our indoor fireplace is officially in and the fireplace is a Venetian plaster. I am obsessed with how it turned out. The other really exciting thing that happened in the last couple of weeks is we got our sliding doors, yes. which are back here. Um, yeah, we went with the 16 foot sliders for back here. And since we last updated YouTube. Wow, it's nice outside. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Since we last updated on YouTube, this is also all done. This is our outdoor fireplace. And this outdoor living space, we did the stone to mirror the front patio. It'll look out to our yard. And that building right there is going away. It's an old sauna, um, but we're gonna get rid of that. And this beam will be painted white. And the cool part is that beam will continue in and carry into the house. So, really excited about how that turned out. Back inside, we have this archway and the drywall just looks really good. I'm excited for paint. Right here, we will be doing a little built-in. And this is Matt and I's bedroom. I'm not sure how we're gonna lay things out just yet but I love the windows in here, still waiting on doors. And our bathroom, which is my favorite part of the entire house. Windows to look out to our property. And shower, closets. What do you think? Baby. Are we gonna get to live here, Gardner? It looks so good. It really does. Man's design coming to fruition. Yes, so White Line Designs helped us with the design of the house and she yeah. had a really cool idea for this space. Uh, I will insert a picture of the, what this is supposed to look like. Um, back one sketch. Yeah, we have gone with a few different fixtures than this. We're not doing the black windows. Uh, we obviously, you know, white windows, but very happy with how it's turning out. All right, and guys, we have cabinets. This is looking into our main kitchen area. We don't have an island yet, but there will be an island here. Freezer, refrigerator, and then we have a stove top and oven going in right here. And there's also gonna be a big cabinet that goes along the top right there. Yeah, this is the bank of cabinets that I'm so excited, or drawers that I'm so excited about. I don't know how I'm gonna do storage through here, but I'm jazzed about it. You got plenty of options. Yeah. So. Dining table will go down here. All of that looks good. This kind of gives an idea of the detail of the, the drawer fronts. Like, because uh, you can see how the drawer fronts are on. So it's gonna be a thin, like a super thin shaker shape. Yeah. And then through this way, Papa, is going to be the butler's pantry, which I never thought I would say or have, but there will be banks of cabinets all the way along this wall uh, for storage. And this cabinet right here actually goes on this wall and it has, this is so cool, you guys. Oh my gosh. I got a Keurig drawer. So I can put Keurig cups in here and tea and a few other things. Uh, so that when guests come, they can come to this little spot and it will be the little bar for coffee. We don't even drink coffee. That's right. 
Okay, so this little room right here is my office. I am trying to decide what color to paint the cabinetry. So there are cabinets back here for storage. I will put things for collabs and packages and all kinds of stuff in yeah. storage in here. This is gonna be awesome. We will also record and film podcasts in here. Uh, there will be a desk countertop. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this room. If you guys have inspiration or ideas of what you think I should do for the color of the cabinets, let me know. I really think I want to do something fun. I don't know if I want to do like a green or yeah, Gardy, whatever Gardy's favorite is, but I am very excited about this space. Okay, so in here is our laundry space. I went ahead and splurged and did a dog wash, which I'm primarily planning to use for plants and things like that. We have so many plants in the house and that'll give me somewhere to put them. The tile in here is so pretty. Uh, we did everything in the laundry green and it is very bold. Like we really went for it in here. So fingers crossed that looks good. Down here is going to be dog bowls. So the dogs will be able to eat and drink mm -hmm. down here. And then another like fun little cabinet thing. I got, I don't really know how this works yet. I have to try to get it out. Ironing board in a drawer. Isn't that cool? I don't know how it goes back guys. I don't know. I don't know. There were instructions somewhere. Okay. Just continue the tour. Don't get hit by the ironing board. <laughs> Show us how we finally figured it out. 45 hours later. Super easy. <laughs> What's it hitting on? <laughs> we, we got it closed. <laughs> Through here, there's still Tyvek paper because we haven't gotten the doors on this side of everything done. So it could be loud, this could not get to stay in the video, but if it is in the video and you're watching this, congrats. Could be in a great illustration of why we don't have other videos. Okay. Okay. So through here is going to be the in-law suite that is made specially for my parents. Um, we only have a handful of cabinets in here so far. Uh, the cabinets that are in here are like their kitchen area. Matt is standing with the camera exactly where the fridge will be. Yep. Uh, right here will be a mud space, um, a mud space, it's very small, there will be places to hang cabinets, or to hang coats, not cabinets, <laughs> to hang cabinets. There. Very shallow cabinets. Yeah, uh, and a little bench maybe, or places for shoes, I don't know, we haven't really gotten that far. Nope. Um, here, I'll pan to show the rest of the, the kitchen area, obviously there's not a lot there, but. Dining table will go right here. And then we did this room in order to really mirror the look of our own living room. So there are the eight foot doors saying that we have on our side, just not as wide. Uh, there will be built-ins on this side that I'm really excited about. And then we also did the archways. Um, and we have a fully accessible bedroom and fully accessible bathroom right here as well. Yep. You guys want to see the stone detail outside? All the, all the ASMR sound. And then this is really exciting. Got hit by the paper. Yep. So stone pillars that match everything else. So there's a ramp through here that will go to their own private garage so that whenever they are here, they have a covered walkway and everything. Okay, last little bit to show you guys. This is the front like porch entry area. You can see that the columns, this was original to the house, uh, as was the stone floor, and the stone floor carries inside. Um, and then this is where the custom front door that our friend is building for us will go. I'm excited about that. And we'll be here with more updates soon because cabinetry and all of that, things are happening quickly and it's almost time. We're ready. And since things are getting loud, we're just gonna call it. So since I filmed last, it's been, what, maybe 10 days? So, yeah. 
everything you just watched was 10 days ago, but a lot happened. So we wanted to bring you guys back and show you everything. We also have snow outside, so that's kind of yeah. fun. Uh, weird little March uh, snowstorm in Arkansas. But uh, we have cabinets. We have base cabinets everywhere, and we'll kind of walk you guys through. And yeah, I'm excited to show you. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna start in the in-law suite, which we customized to my mom's medical needs. She has MS, and I know that she is the reason a lot of you guys have followed along on this renovation, just choices that we've made. So these doors were in. I can't remember if the doors were in when I filmed, uh, but pretty excited about the doors being in. But the big news is all of the cabinet trees in. So my mom's situation doesn't require cabinets that she can access because she is not able to utilize the kitchen or anything. So we did regular height countertops through the kitchen. Oh, there they are. Hi. The team. Hey. And this will be their pantry area. We did do a drawer microwave um, that will be at her level. Although, again, she can't access things like that because of her mobility issues. This is gonna end up being built-ins, floor to ceiling, white oak, and we'll put their TV here. And then through the five foot opening is their bathroom. Okay, now we are in their bathroom. This tower right here is gonna end up going right here, which is what my mom prefers. And then down low, this is done a custom panel so that her chair will be able to roll all the way up to the sink. And we got a specialized sink that's low profile and will fit. That panel actually lifts out of there so you can still access plumbing and everything like that. And the cabinets in here are going to be white. And here's probably the biggest change since I filmed a little bit ago. We have our island cabinetry. Uh, no cabinet fronts because they're gonna do countertops and everything like that before they come install all of the fronts, drawer fronts, cabinet doors, etc. But it's giving us a much better idea of what the kitchen is gonna look like. We went with white oak throughout the entire kitchen, a really natural finish, and I love how it's turned out. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it with countertops. I've got the above the fridge, you can see kind of what the doors are gonna look like, a very thin edge. Yes. And there, shaker, kind of. there's also going to be a wood panel that goes across right here um, that's not in yet. We're yeah, waiting on that. that. Yes. When we do a whole house tour, when everything's done, I'll take you guys through all the cabinet add-ons that we did uh, just to make things easier. But this is one of my favorites, so I'm going to show you now. And that is our KitchenAid lift. So this is for a mixer. It locks all the way up to the side of the counter to the countertop so that we will be able to keep this stored away and it'll never have to be like lifted and moved around and then it just goes back down. I'm excited about that. This is the cabinetry I'm most excited about. This will be our pantry. So adjustable shelves up above here and these will have their own doors, but then down here it'll be section doors. And then all of these slide out for storage, so it's just drawers as far as the eye can see, kind of built-in pantry style. And then easy to access. Reinforced. This will have a microwave, so yeah, it's not super deep, so it'll just be it'll have to be opened up when the microwave's operating. But we're not big microwave people, so um, that's where we ask for it. Yeah, and then across from this is our little prep kitchen area. So the sink's right here, and again, this is another good example of kind of what the doors are gonna look like. It's got that thin edge that we looked for. So this will be just a, an undermount sink, smaller bar type sink, and then drink fridge will be in here. So we'll kind of try and keep beverages and stuff. And then it'll be mostly food and the other, the other stuff. Yep, and then we did our little Keurig drawer. This is my office, and we did the same little pullout. Um, yeah, same drawer set up. These are all painted, you'll notice the wood difference it is nice but yeah it's, it's ready to be painted yeah and these are going to be green it's the color it's called yeah. green earth by sherwin williams i'm excited to see that color yeah i'm excited too we're doing a countertop here uh and this is where we'll work and hopefully we'll be able to record the podcast somewhere i don't know if yeah. it'll be in here or 
what? I don't know what that's gonna look like. Last bit of cabinetry I'll show off is this. This is the Jack and Jill bathroom. Um, and so there will be two sinks and it has the cute little foot detail. And then we also uh, did some little details in the doors when those come in. And there's just a little closet. Yeah, that's gonna be your bathroom. Yeah, what do you think, G? Are you talking? So that's the primary update at the house, but I am going to go ahead when we go home, uh, fill you guys in on some of our paint decisions and all of that. Uh, and yeah, things are coming along. We're excited, huh? Yeah, very. We're gonna get to live here, which I don't yeah, know. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yay. yay! We're pretty grateful. Okay, so I'm back home and I was gonna talk through with you guys what we're doing for paint selections in the house just because I know that that is a big part of everything and we did finally make decisions. So uh, we really want the house to be really transitional and just easy going, just like our house right now. Like we love the house we live in right now. We picked the paint colors, we have the light floors and the goal is to have that same calm, feel but i want it to be a little less stark white and so that's why we brought in the warm wood tones for the cabinets etc long term i think we definitely want to do some accent walls and things like that but to start what we're thinking for paint we're going to do the same color that's on our current walls at the new house it is a white heron by sherwin williams uh, for my office i picked a color called a green earth by Sherwin Williams. For our mud room, we're doing things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm normally not a big white cabinet gal, but we are planning to do this floor. Not planning, we're doing this floor in this pattern. And so we wanted a very, very clean and not so busy cabinet because there will also be an all tile dog wash in that laundry space that is this color so that tile this color dog wash and then a cabinet color of snowbound by sherwin williams okay and then the last paint color we decided for cabinetry is iron ore by sherwin williams and that's going to go in the guest suite kitchen uh, it's a charcoal color and it's beautiful it really picks up warm tones and uh, i'm excited and a little nervous it's a little bit different i think we're also going to do the door to match uh so kind of fun our front door is real wood we're having that made by an artisan out of springfield i'm trying to think of any other paint colors that you guys might have questions about the exterior is going to be white heron we're sticking to our guns with that one. We really like the color White Heron. Uh, it pulls warm and just has looked really nice in our current house with the light that we have. And we have similar light in the new house. So we're excited about that. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're about a month away from moving in. But there's a lot left to do. So that could get pushed back. Um, and if it does, it does. That's just the reality of the supply chain right now and with everything going on the least of our problems is uh moving into our new house and we'll do what we do so anyway stay tuned i know it's been a long time since we've done updates but since things are moving so quickly now we will be doing much more frequent updates for you guys we're going to be starting the furnishing process uh, i'm going to do a move-in vlog whenever we do get there and so keep an eye out more things are coming and if you have anything you want to see us cover or talk about please drop a comment down below we'd love to hear have a great day y'all